Hello traders, this is Elizabeth Bilugina and you are watching daily stock market review by Tradimo. It's Wednesday, April 17th. You can see that S&P 500 turned down from the area of 29.20 and is testing support in the area of 2900. The next level to watch uh, the support is located at 28.80 level. The main negative impact on S&P 500 and other U.S. stock indexes was the poor performance of healthcare providers. For example, we can see the chart of the United Health Group. The decline here was due to concerns about policy uh, changes for these companies, and it looks like the situation is uh, rather difficult and severe here, so a further pressure may be expected. As uh, for the market sentiment in general, China released economic growth, industrial production, retail sales figures, which came above forecasts, and that is surely a positive thing. But taking into account the fact that S&P 500 has risen um, significantly in the previous months that it was near the record high levels and it is rather far from moving averages here on the daily chart the correction just um, took its way naturally and you know the further targets there were some positive market movers um, on Tuesday and Wednesday have a look at Qualcomm Inc. chart. The company won a big battle with Apple, the two-year legal dispute with the iPhone maker. And um, it turned out that uh, the company will get royalties and chipsets from Apple and its incremental earnings per share in 2000. 20 will increase according to the forecast by about two dollars that is surely a big positive development uh, for qualcomm earlier the stock was under the negative impact of uncertainty and uh, you can see that this week this impressive movement to the upside surely uh, adds stability to the market and improves the long-term forecasts analysts are slowly upgrading their targets their forecasts uh, we have uh, different numbers um, around 60 70 uh, some analysts speak about the level of 90 of course uh, after this jump by 40 percent this week the stock will consolidate we can see it match resistance but uh, the long-term picture surely improved and it is an interesting um, stock to consider for some really really long-term period netflix uh, posted its earnings report and uh, here the picture was mixed so we know that uh, the company managed to beat its quarterly estimates but it gave some weak forecast so if we switch to the daily chart here we would see that uh, the stock met resistance from uh, march highs uh, in the area of 370 and uh, looks like we will be under pressure for some time so it is necessary to um, have a look at support around 340 that uh, will keep the stock from the lower decline IBM also reported earnings and uh, there was a bigger drop in the company's revenue than analysts expected. We can see that uh, so far the stock has been trading an important uh, resistance line and um, there is also the 100 week moving average around 144 so this level is key for further upside um, and the next target is around 149 support is located at the weekly moving average uh, just above 136 and if the market doesn't like ibm then it gets 
digs deeper into the company's report and loses this level, we may see a deeper decline because IBM certainly has a lot of financial problems. Finally, uh, the stock of PepsiCo rose to the new record high uh, in the area of 126.50. The company reported solid results um, due to its international growth and um, good growth in its uh, Frito-Lay snack business, which uh, is encouraging. So the stock, of course, is rather expensive right now. Um, and uh, overboard, um, but um, for the long term, that uh, surely is an interesting choice. In the meantime, uh, the near term can, of course, lead to some correction. The main support will be located just above 122 level. Thank you for your attention. This is all for today. And follow the stock markets with Tradimo. Subscribe to the YouTube.